I'm almost ready, Cathy. Give me five minutes to get to my wetsuit. Don't overdo it, honey. School and work never stops. You just pace yourself. No, I know, I know. I just lost track of time, plus the subject matter. Fascinating. <laughs> Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. If I made it this far, you might as well just let no. me. No. Maria's going to be on video. You no. no. We cannot afford further delay. I understand. I'd like to start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. You look nervous. And that amuses you? No, no. Just seeing you, you're... Proud. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. Let's find out. Sarah, Ryan, suit up and prepare to board. Kathy, start the pre-docking preparations. I'm doing the docking procedure. Yes, you're staying aboard the Zephyr with me. Now please start the procedure. What do you expect to find on Mars, Kat? Nothing. I understand what you're thinking, I think. But sometimes what we want isn't... It's always difficult to do the right thing, and I really believe Isaac always meant well. Isaac? You mean Dad? Dad always meant well. I just need you to understand, he was not always good at doing the right thing. Right. He's always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? I need to know that when we get there, you'll make the right decisions. <laughs>